Hi and welcome to Analyzer Pro Shorts, the series where we show you bits and pieces of Analyzer Pro, the traffic accident analysis software that should inspire you in your daily work as an expert. Today we're talking about uh, data analysis again, and this time specifically video analysis. So um, CCTV and other sources are more and more uh, frequent in our work as experts and um, we have invented a tool that allows us to calculate speeds out of static video footage. So I'm opening the module video analysis, I'm browsing for file and on the top you can see the original file. So um, the first thing I need to do is I need to put in reference values uh, with these four dots. And you can see the bottom video gets rectified. We need to change the values. So this one is three meters, this one is four meters. And you can see the bottom video is rectified. However, there is a problem. There's also a, a cushion distortion or barrel distortion actually. And um, because these cameras often use a wide lens angles. Problem here is that you often don't know the camera data. So what we have done is we have implemented a lens distortion uh, algorithm that I can click right now. So I click that. It automatically detects the lens distortion. I have to readjust my video here and you can see we have a nicely rectified bottom video. What I can do next is I can just press play and uh, what will happen is in a, sec in a few seconds um, cars and other objects will run through this image and um, there's a machine learning algorithm that knows how they look, it, uh, it detects them and with the automatically detected frame rate and um, the distance they go, we are able to calculate speeds of cars. You can see on the top here it gets detected, on the bottom we actually see the speed. This works with all different types of uh, vehicles. It works with trucks, it works with pedestrians, it works with cyclists, um, you know, everything that is kind of moving in typical traffic should be detected automatically um, by that. Let's wait a little bit more for, for, for more cars to come. Here you go, we have another one coming in, being detected up there and showing the speeds. So when I click on pause, I can select the ID in the video. So for example, this is the previous one and you see the graph it is done. Um, so you see a lot of zigzagging going on here, but this is actually in a very small range. So it's 13 to 15 kilometers per hour. The blue line is a fit curve in between and what I can do now is I can select the range um, of that driving process and I can just click on transfer. With that done I have already automatically brought it into my kinematic data, columns are filled, uh, filled as usual and when we have a look at this, we see how the car moves according to that fit curve. We can directly use that data. You might wonder how precise it is. Um, we have done research and um, it's not good enough to give you the difference between 50 and 51 kilometers per hour. However, it's definitely good enough to give you um, a decent speed range. We roughly say a bit depending on the speed level it's plus minus three kilometers per hour and so it should give you at least a very decent information or baseline of 
how the car moved. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and have a great day. Bye bye.